Hello all, welcome to Practolytics, your health care partner. Thank you so much for joining in the part 2 video of the transitional care management series that we are doing. In the part 1, you have learned about the basics of the TCM and in this video, you will be learning about the CPT codes and the coding guidelines that are associated with it. Firstly, this is Ellen Green from Coding Operations Practolytics and I am a certified coding specialist from Ahima. With no further delay, let's begin the video. Transitional care management are the services provided to Medicare beneficiaries, as you all know, whose medical and psychosocial problems require moderate uh, medical decision making during transitions in care from a hospital or uh, any healthcare facility to a community setting. That could be a home, patient's home, any rest home or uh, any assisted living facility. The agenda of this video is to help you understand the CPT codes to be used in this TCM service, coding guidelines associated, requirements and components for the TCM service. Now, let's see the CPT codes that are to be used for this service. We have two CPT codes that are to be used. Use TCM code 99495 when the patient requires moderate to high complexity medical decision making and it is evaluated face to face between 7 and 14 days after discharge. Use TCM code 99496 when the patient requires high complexity care medical decision making and is evaluated face to face within 7 days of discharge establishing the level of medical decision making is based upon number of diagnosis or management options, amount of data or complexity and the risk that is associated with the complaint that the patient is having. And now let's understand the coding guidelines associated with this TCM service. While using codes uh, 99495 and 99496 for transitional care management services, considering coding guidelines is extremely important. Medication reconciliation and uh, management should happen no later than face-to-face -face visit. The codes cannot be used with Z0181, that is your home health uh, care plan oversight or G0182. Uh, hospice care plan oversight service because these sources will become a duplicate to each other. Billing should occur at the conclusion of the 30 days post discharge service. And moving on, they are payable only once per patient in the 30 days following the discharge. Thus, if the patient is readmitted, TCM cannot be billed again. Only one individual can build TCM per one patient. So, it is important to establish the primary physician in charge of the coordination of the care during this time phase. If there is a question, then it might be important to contact the other physician's office to clarify. The discharging physician should tell the patient which clinician will be providing and billing for the TCM services. The codes apply to both new and established patients. And now moving on to the requirements and components of the transitional care management service. Contact the beneficiary or caregiver uh, within two business days following a discharge. The contact may be via telephone, email or face-to-face -face visit. Attempts to communicate uh, should continue after the first two attempts in the required business days until successful. Conduct a follow-up visit within 7 or 14 days of discharge depending upon the complexity of the medical decision making involved. The face-to-face -face visit is part of TCM service and should not be reported separately. Medicine reconciliation and management must be furnished no later than the date uh, of the face-to-face -face visit and also the discharge information needs to be obtained and reviewed thoroughly. Moving on, review uh, the need for the diagnostic tests, treatments, uh, follow up on the pending diagnostic tests and treatments, educate the beneficiary, a family member, caregiver or the guardian and establish or re-establish referrals with community providers and services if necessary. 
assist in scheduling follow-up visits with providers and services also if necessary. I hope uh, this video helped you in understanding codes that are to be used in the DCM services and the respective guidelines associated. We will be back soon with another video which will help you understanding the documentation requirements in the TCM service. Thank you so much for your time and interest.